all EV, LMT, uh, industri and, and industrial batteries with a capacity of over two kilowatt hours to fall within the scope uh, of the battery passport. So in this case, EVs refer to electric vehicles like your cars or SUVs, which are hybrid or fully electric, um, over 25 kilos. LMTs stand for light means of transport. I, I saw that we have a donkey uh, um, here in the chat. So light means of transports are your e-scooters and e-bikes, which are under 25 kilograms, the batteries, of course. Uh, and finally, industrial batteries refers to those used in industrial infrastructure, think windmills, uh, agricultural activities, and basically any battery that is above five kilos that is not an EV, LMT, or SLI, so start, lighter, igniter type of batteries. Um, so in essence, those are the three main uh, categories that fall under scope. So smaller batteries that are under five kilos, like your laptops or your uh, phone batteries are not uh, in scope of the battery passport itself. Uh, we expect that to happen eventually, but not uh, as per the current uh, stated uh, milestones. Um, so should a fall, uh, battery fall within the scope of these uh, requirements, regardless of the origin, it will require a battery passport in order to be uh, listed in the European market uh, come 2027.